What is going on everybody? I'm Gordon Freeman 23 and welcome back to part 2 of Dead Space 2. Uh, last part uh, was good. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, it finally worked out well how I wanted it to. Um, the last video is recorded in 60 FPS, but I decided to go ahead and just do 30. Um, I know my computer can handle recording at 60 and to be honest Dead Space 2 is not that graphically superior. Uh, but we'll stick with 30 FPS just for namesake, just in case the video, in case something goes wrong with the hitching in the graphics or something, uh, the frame rate don't drop all over the place on the video, so apologies for that. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to stick with that. Um, I tried to turn up my mic, or turn down the audio settings a little bit in OBS and turn up my mic a little bit, so hopefully um, you'll hear me more uh, over the gameplay. Because uh, I noticed in the last video I was a little loud, um, so yeah. Um, if you remember the last part, uh, we just pretty much uh, got let loose. Uh, necromorphs have attacked wherever facility we're in again, and we're back in the horrors of Dead Space One. So, and we have a gun, which is nice. So yeah, so so peaceful and tranquil, except for the dead bodies and blood everywhere. Oh boy, this is a great start to a video. As I said in the first game, or the first game, first part, um, I'm just going to be using the plasma cutter, as I said. You know, as I said, it's a first style gun, use it for a challenge sake, and I won't have to worry about cluttering my inventory with fucking ammo of other guns. Yes, yeah, I know how to manually reload again. Um, this is the inventory system. I didn't show this off in the last part, um, but uh, this pretty much just has your mission objectives. You got data database of different, um, you know, you know, different story things. Super wrong button. Um, but this is the inventory screen. I'm gonna go away from this fucking communications dude. It's getting annoying. Um, but yeah, you have your basic inventory. You got all these slots here. Um, you do get upgraded suits to give you more inventory spaces. Um, you got your weapons on the left hand side. Um, you got the you got your suit um, uh, description, like your air and armor. There are sections of the game, like in the first one, where you're outside in space. Um, and of course, armor is how much protection the suit gives you. You got nodes, which you use for upgrades, and of course, your credits, which you use for the store. Um, and the funny thing about this game is it doesn't have a map. Um, because you have your, you know, you have your new uh, location module that I showed in the first game, where it gives you locations to all the store, you know, to the store, the nearest save system, and all that. Because uh, to be fair, if you're a veteran Dead Space player, you know that the map in Dead Space One was freaking terrible. It was just horrible trying to navigate that map. Um, I honestly don't know if anybody actually used it. If they did, I give them kudos because that shit was annoying to try and use. Um, actually, we're supposed to go that way. I think I actually triggered the necromorphs already. Um, got a quick little text log here. I'll try and be um, decent with picking up text logs and reading them. Uh, let's see, patients becoming agitated and combative. Uh, see, new regiments, memory race drugs. There's no longer remember who they were. Um, must be convinced to leave their cells. Many are frightened, require sedation. Uh, an orderly was bitten three times by patient six, who now must be told why he has a broken jaw every morning. Um, if you guys remember, um, or, you know, as you can see, they were doing experiments, um, and people were going nuts, um, in this facility already, so, you know, 
people being turned into necromorphs and just causing all kinds of mayhem and, and stuff like that, so. And if you guys remember, this is, uh, this is Strauss. He's the guy in the video we watched uh, in the first part. He's just he's just like us. They're doing experiments on him. They're doing experiments on us. So, well, too late. We don't have to be friends, but like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. All right, hmm. I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! And there you have it. We are on a station orbiting Saturn, as she said, um, and that's pretty much, uh, if I remember correctly, that's, um, I think the marker was brought here to the station, I don't remember, um, I haven't played this, like I said, I haven't played this in a while, so I don't remember every detail about the story. All I know is that we got picked up and we're right here. Uh, reception desk, please refer all restraints, or uh, registrants complaining of anxiety or social problems to other hospitals. We're booked and running low on medications. Uh, CEC layoffs are increased tension between unitologists and EarthGov. Thought there's enough of a spike in cases, it's a new wave of something entirely different. Um, unitologist. Now, unitologist is a religion in this game uh, around the marker. Um, if you remember, the marker is that artifact that Isaac found, or that the colonists found on Aegis 7 in the first game when they were mining it. Um, and that's pretty much a religion based around the marker, uh, which is kind of funny. Um, and you, you're probably guessing, well, if there's a religion around it, you kind of figured how long has you know Isaac been under? Well, we'll find out later. Yeah, just searching for ammo, credits, um, you know, again, this is a survival horror game, so finding things like, you know, ammo and supplies is, is much needed. Um, right, that's the backwards way, so... <coughs> and excuse, excuse me for my cough, um, I, this is literally the second part that I've done after the first part, so... Orderly TPS report 1138. Patient 3 has again shit the bed. Patient continues to draw what looks like a marker in anything she can, including her own feces. Her trembling hands have reached the point where she cannot feed, drink, or bathe herself. Her outlook is uncertain. Entry end. So you can see it, the, the marker pretty much drives them nuts. Um, we did pick up a, a power node uh, here earlier when we were talking to uh, What's-Her-Face. Um, as I said before, power nodes are used for uh, upgrading our gear um, at benches, our, our armor and our um, our suit and our weapons. Um, and they also they're used for uh, locked doors. Uh, some of the locked doors contain um, certain items, uh, sometimes blueprint, sometimes ammo, sometimes completely crap stuff. So sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes it is. It all depends on. You know, if you want to risk that power node for that, or you want to use it for finding, uh, for finding a bench and upgrading your gear. And here we come to the second uh, module of the game. 
Um, but first we gotta do a little hacking mini game. This is new to the game. Um, it's a little hacking mini game we get to do to get to doors and stuff. But now we have our uh, stasis module. Slows down, uh, slows down time, or puts um, not slows down time. It kind of puts them in this field where they can't move. Uh, so yeah, this other text log. We we'll read this real quick. Uh, maintenance report: Stasis bed replaced. Tachyon unit. Uh, Degauss emitter array calibrated. Heisenberg forks. Induction coil. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, induction coil is not firing. Testing shattered matrix. Blah blah blah. Sciency stuff. Um, but yeah, a stasis module pretty much it's kind of another way to keep patients in uh, in limbo. It's kind of like you know putting them in a coma, but not chemically, not a chemical coma. If that makes sense. Um, also, yes, we use the telekinesis module, not the chemistry module. The stasis module to slow down doors um, for places we can't get into. Stasis module, it's, it's used quite well. Oh yes, I these enemy types. These guys are freaking terrible. They're like a spitter from Left 4 Dead, and they pretty much do what you know a spitter does. It spits goo at you and it hurts. And I am missing this new one. So. Yeah, those guys. Uh, those guys suck. <laughs> But as you can see here, this was kind of like a holding station for for people who were going nuts, and you know they pretty much got got messed up. And there's another power module. I guess in the power module in this game, we're giving out quite a quite a bit. We're giving out to find. Um, in the first game, it seemed like they were kind of you know. A rare thing to find and you would hold on to them more but I don't remember like I said it's been a long time since I played so um, so yeah I'm always gonna back away from the elevator I always have the fear of something popping up inside the elevator because it's happened before what the fuck oh shit me a little bit. That got me a little bit. <clears throat> so we're just, we're getting into the thick of the game now. So the game will really pick up once we uh, get to a store. Get our armor. Uh, Chairman Donovan, this is Dr. Brooks. I've said this many times. I don't like security behind the new labs they've installed. It's been three years. There you go. It's been three years. Um, secrecy has no place in open free society. Their network is isolated. Uh, unethical is taking place on our noses. We don't do get some traction soon. I'm going to go to Tideman, blah, blah, blah. So, so they pretty much built a separate section to the medical ward um, where they were doing experiments with the marker. people were starting to, you know, kind of figure it out. Synth flowers 50% off? I'm gonna have to head there immediately. Oxygen in use. Oh yeah, this part's something. Um, it's kind of funny, if you shoot this guy, he's not supposed to be awake, but, um, what happens in this room happens anyway.
Yeah, because, uh... <laughs> excuse me. Technically, when you're through that door and you walk in, that necromorph gets up and you shoot him, and that's what causes the explosion, but... You know, it happens either way. Um, and that's a little new little thing to the game, uh, shooting those doors. Um, that's kind of like a little mini mechanic to the game that they added. Um, it happens a couple times in the game for you to do, so... And, uh, you are alive. Yep. It's really easy to tell which necromorphs are not dead. Um, you kind of learn that from the first game. And getting power nodes left and right. I guess they did give them out, um, a lot. And here we have it. Welcome our first store. <laughs> Okay, now, here's the thing. When you go to the shop, you use it to buy ammo, guns, you know, and then a new upgrade suit. Now, I bought this game on Steam, and I think this version of Steam came with DLC weapons and armor. Now, I'm not going to use any of these DLC guns, because they just have stats added to them to make the game a little bit more easier. I'm not going to do that. Um... Because it's just going to break the game, and I'd rather not break it like that. <coughs> so, the only the only way you can tell which is not a DLC weapon or suit is it doesn't have the little special icon next to it. Um, so, like this suit right here, it's the main suit for the game that you would get by progressing through the game. So, I'm going to do my best to do with that. The only thing I am going to go for is the refurbished plasma cutter. Now, you get this weapon for uh, playing the first game. Uh, for having a Dead Space 1 save. And I'm going to use this one just for nostalgic purposes. They both do the same damage. They do both do the same thing. There's no difference. It's just I want to do this one just because, you know, like I said, for nostalgic purposes. Um, and then we can, you know, store the old one. Um, so, like I said, they both do the same thing. This one's just more of a... It's more of a higher beam kind of thing, where the other one's just an older version, but, uh, yeah. So, we're gonna stick with this one, you know, like I said. Um, and as you can see, there is other weapons that the game has. Like I said, there's a, there's like a, a nail gun, uh, there's a, like a, like a plasma rifle, a flamethrower, uh, mine launcher, you know, there's other weapons in the game, but just gonna stick with, uh, the main ones. And then, here's our first suit. And I love the animations for this. Get rid of that old bloody... Bloody thing we had on. Oh yeah. Be back now, boys. Show the mask, baby. Yeah. That'll never get old, man. That's the one thing about this game. It's the suit. The suit never gets old, man. It's too good. So, yeah. Um, now, I'm guessing I can't... I'm guessing I can't buy things yet. I should be able to buy ammo and med packs, but I think I gotta get blueprints for it first. So, yeah. But yeah, like I said, this is the normal plasma cutter. It does the same, you know, damage and everything like that. It's no different. Um, but now, if you look at our inventory screen, you can now see on the right-hand side with the suit layout, is we have 5% armor now. So we have more armor than we did with just our skivvies. Um, but we won't get any more inventory spices until we get, like, I think the next level suit. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, and we have four power nodes, so that's, that's a lot of nodes to use for upgrading. But we won't get to our first upgrade, um... Our first upgrade, uh... Bench until, uh, I think a little further. I think after this door, I think. I don't remember. Um, I'm contemplating in the video here because this will be a really good point. Um, we're at 20 minutes. I think we're gonna do that, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're gonna end the video here. This is a good stopping point for it. 
first. Um, this is a good stopping point. We just got our suit. We're about to head in, head actually into the main meat of the game. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to keep playing this. Um, again, I, as I said before, this is my favorite of the three games. Um, it's just, it, it's great all around. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think uh, the next, I think after, I think the next area we go through is kind of like the main shopping area. Uh, as you know, this is a space station. So, you know, there'd be shopping as a mall and stuff like that for people who live on the space station. But I think that's the next section coming up. Uh, but don't hold my word to it. Um, but that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, thank you all for who are watching this series. Uh, give a like if you would want to. Um, as I said, as I always say, please give a comment if there's anything wrong or anything you want me to improve. Um, give me a subscription if you want to. You don't have to. Um, but if you want to see more of this content, um, then, uh, yeah, like I said, give me a sub. Uh, so that's going to do it for me, guys. So until the next one, y'all take it easy.